What's up guys, it's Chris, we're back. So it's been a hot minute since I've done a video. Um, I've been super busy on the house build. Uh, today's video though is, can I use any wood as driftwood in my aquarium? I'm sort of a driftwood diva and a lot of people know that about me and uh, I feel like a piece of driftwood makes or breaks an aquarium. Check out this piece in here. There's a couple big pieces in here and it just makes this aquarium awesome. Um, look at this tank here. I just wanna showcase some of these cool pieces of driftwood. This is a 55 gallon aquarium and there's a couple cool pieces of driftwood in there. There's also a stellar piece of wood in there. Sorry about the glare. So let's deep dive into this question. Can I use any piece of wood as driftwood in the aquarium? The short answer is no. Let me shut this door here. The AC is on. Sorry if you can hear it in the background. So when finding wood for your aquarium, say if you're going to be doing like a uh, going in the woods or going on a shoreline or heading to a river, and you're going to find some DIY wood to put in your aquarium. There is something to watch for. Some woods are a lot harder than others. You want hard wood and don't get funny don't get funny with that in the comments. I don't want to see any trolls with that one. So ah, my eyes are just killing me. So there's different types of woods. Ah the glare's terrible. Um what you want to look for, there's a couple signs. Let me grab a piece of driftwood here. I just found this guy a little bit ago. This is a gnarly piece here. So when you come upon the cool piece of driftwood like this one here what you want to do is kind of give it a scratch test. Dig into it with your fingernail and kind of see if it kind of just rips apart really easily. That usually means it's a softer wood. And when I mean soft wood, that means it's a softer wood. Like it's a, it's a style of a tree that just has a softer wood, like pine versus oak versus mahogany. Some woods are just a lot softer. What happens is the softer woods actually leach out things into the aquarium a lot easier if that makes any sense so the harder the wood the better and um you know there's so many different types of wood there's manzanita um honestly i'm a driftwood diva and i'm not really biased on just like ordering manzanita or mopani wood what i'm trying to say here is i'm not biased on the style and i don't you know uh, you also have to be careful because when finding aquarium driftwood, I think the laws are different per state and it doesn't make much sense, but I think the law is in Minnesota here that you are not to remove any, any type of wood from other nature whatsoever. And I, I actually, I think that's a nationwide thing in the U S but if you think about it, it doesn't make much sense because all this cool wood has to come from nature. It has to come from outside, right? So why is it illegal for me to pull it from somewhere in the US, um, but in other countries, it's totally fine. So what usually happens is for us to get cool driftwood, what happens is they import it from other countries and then we buy it from them just because you know they don't have regulations or as strict of regulations. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm sort of under the, the belief that just if you find something in the, if you find wood outside, just keep it to yourself and maybe bring it home. Maybe not, Chris didn't tell you to do anything, but look at this cool piece here. Sorry, I'm getting kind of distracted. I have really bad ADHD. So look at that beta, just magnificent. And the wood adds tannins to the water, which is a, like a, it brings a lot of great things to the water for fish. It helps their slime coat. It's like an antiseptic for the fish. Um, it's, 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 it's amazing. So when finding driftwood, uh, what you wanna do is some tricks, tips and tricks for finding driftwood. I have other videos on that if you wanna search for Palmer Aquatics and do that. Um, fast moving rivers, you can even go to like smaller lakes where the water level has lowered and then you can just like uh, find the root structures. For the most part, the root structure is the best part of the wood that you want. Like this is, 
This is this is a root structure right here, kind of like these gnarly knobs and twists. It's always the root structure that looks the best in an aquarium. Granted, well actually this is a root structure here. If you get like a lot of bends and stuff, it's usually just like the root structure of the tree. The three, the three to four inch mark as far as diameter uh, for the size of the tree is the best I found for like 20 to 55 gallon aquariums. But yeah guys, hopefully that helps you. I wouldn't, um, what I tend to do when prepping aquarium driftwood for the tanks is I'll throw it in a little kiddie pool outside for a couple, like for a couple of weeks and I'll let it soak and I'll, and I'll also throw like guppies or minnows in that little kiddie pond and make sure that those fish stay alive because that kind of tells me that the driftwood is safe and we can move forth and put it into an aquarium that we actually love. So without further ado, hopefully that helps you, hopefully this helps you answer the question, can I use any type of wood to put, or can I use any type of wood as driftwood for my aquarium? Also check out my channel. I have lots of other videos. Hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. Mm -hmm.